All right, friends, come with me for a second here. You see this stupid little thing here? If you don't know, this is a stainless steel wire brush. This tiny little thing here is extremely important as this is gonna either help or hurt you with the results that you get TIG welding. All right, check this out. I posted this video on my Instagram a little while ago. I was demonstrating how I prefer to prepare an edge for welding. I'll describe it a little more later in this episode, but I actually got a direct message from somebody saying this. Hey man, when you're wire brushing, don't wire brush both ways. You're doing it wrong. While I was dumbfounded reading this message, again, let's take a look at the slow motion replay here. I don't know about you, it looks all right. You can see that I was indeed wire brushing in one direction like I was technically supposed to be. After thinking about it for a little bit, like I do with most negative comments on my channel, I completely ignored this message. So after actually a couple hours, I got another message from this same person. And this time the message says something like this. Uh, I watched it again and it seems like you did it in one direction. Cool, thank you for the update on your investigation. But then he followed it up with this part of the message. But why do you even waste so much time doing it like this though? Man. Well, let me tell you right here. If this person is gonna give me some hard time over some small details, I'm gonna blast you on some small details that apparently some people don't even know about. And you friends watching here today, we can all get some more game to some small details with this tiny little thing here. All right, let's get into it. All right, first off, what is wire brushing for? Essentially, this is for helping to remove any oxide on the surface of our aluminum, as well as also help to get rid of some of the other contaminants that might be on the surface of the aluminum as well. We're gonna use this little thing here to help you get rid of some of this stuff to make your TIG welding a little bit easier. First off, let's address the comment that I got that was actually correct. Ideally, when you wire brush, you want to wire brush in one direction, like you're looking at here. And like you see here, I'm doing it lengthwise to the weld path. Now the reason that this is so important to do is if you have any contamination that's in the joint that you are wire brushing, brushing both ways like you're looking at here can actually impermeate a lot of this contamination into the welding joint. So the comment was actually correct in that sense. So doing it lengthwise like this is also gonna help to eject any contaminant out of the joint. Whereas brushing from side to side like you're looking at here, this is not going to clear a lot of this contaminant out of the joint. Even though you might be giving it a good scrub, a lot of it's gonna be left in the joint. So no matter what you're doing to wire brush, brush it lengthwise and in one direction. That's a great rule of thumb to practice when you're wire brushing. So if you didn't know this stuff, it's absolutely cool. Now you know it. But let's take our details with this little thing a step further. And this is where the small details with this can really make a big difference with some of the stuff that you're gonna do. So take a look at what I was doing in the video here again. I was setting up to weld some outside corner joints and I was doing it for a demonstration for a few students. Now you see how I have another piece of plate positioned here. This piece is kind of positioned lengthwise as well. What I'm doing is essentially using it as a ruler. Anytime I have an outside corner joint that I have to weld, if I can set things up like this, I'm always gonna take the time to do so. So in production TIG welding, which I did for like 20 years, Anytime I was preparing a project that I was gonna TIG weld and this project was gonna remain unpainted and raw aluminum finish, what I'm gonna do is use this top plate as a ruler to brush a clean and straight strip parallel to my welding path. I'm also gonna hold it on a bit of an angle like you're looking at here. This is also gonna help to brush the edge of the plate as well as the surface for the one beneath it. So essentially what I'm doing here is wire brushing two plates all at once. Then I remove the top plate that I was using as a ruler and look at how straight the brushed surface to this aluminum is now. It's perfect looking. I've seen it before, check this out. Welding on this one looks pretty good, but take a look at the surrounding area that's been brushed. The surrounding area looks like an absolute train wreck, I hate it. What if this was left unpainted as a raw aluminum piece? The welding that goes on top of it can look like the best weld ever, but this dumpster fire around the edges here, this takes away from any of the nice welding in my opinion. All right, now take a look at this piece here. This is from one of the students in my online TIG welding program. This is the final project in the program. I won't show you the entire thing. It's kind of a special thing just for my students in the program. Hit the link in the description if you wanna learn more about my program. But take a look at some of the small details with the brushing here, my gosh. This is from my buddy Simon in the program. It was an absolute blast to work with this guy, but he crushed his progression in the eight week program. This guy went from zero aluminum TIG welding experience to this in eight weeks. Simon, I know you're watching right now now, buddy, I'm really proud of you. Thank you so much for all the hard work you put in working with me in the program. But with the preparation
completion of this final project, take a look at the attention to detail he put with the small details in preparation alone. And now we take a look at it after the fact with all the welding on it. My gosh, this looks awesome. All of the welding is just complemented so much by small details like this. Now, while a lot of people understandably may not think this is such a big deal, as a welding supervisor in production for like 20 years, like I talked about, I don't know why I'm still waving this around, sorry. This stuff really matters to me. Everybody that I trained and taught over my career, I loved showing little tricks like this to them. Small details like this that most people don't even think about really set people apart as far as the quality of workmanship, not only with their welding, but with all the details of their work in general. This tiny stupid, th I'm gonna pick it up. This tiny stupid thing here, even something as small as this can play a really big and important role with the small details of what you're doing. And when you take the time to focus on these small details, your results are gonna show even better. So do you wanna go even further with some of the small details that you can learn about? This episode here goes over a really important one. If you're looking to make the most out of your practice time, this is a really important one to check out next. Do a random act of kindness for a stranger today. My name is Dusty. Bill and Chill, we will talk soon. Peace.